What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single video. The big news rocking the teen mom world right now is the fact that teen mom to star Janelle Evans seems to have managed to keep like the biggest storyline since Leah's alleged drug addiction off of teen mom to this season. And a blogger by the name of the Ashley's Reality Roundup.com spoke to her sources and found out how exactly Janelle managed to keep this massive story about her daughter and her custody case off the show and snag a really, really good edit for herself. So if you recall from my previous videos or just around the general newsroom and the internet, the mother of Janelle's second child, Kaiser Griffith, um, his father, Nathan Griffith, actually filed a lawsuit for emergency custody of the son, Kaiser, because she believes that Janelle and Nathan are both unfit parents at this time. And in the document, she said that the big reason that she wanted emergency custody of Kaiser and believed Janelle to be really incapable of parenting was because, according to her or according to hearsay, Ensley Jolie was actually born with THC in her system. And upon further testing, CPS had discovered that both Janelle and David failed drug screenings as well and therefore there was apparently this huge investigation that lasted months following them around and almost caused her to lose custody of her daughter Ensley. Well according to the Ashley source and I quote Janelle worked really really hard to keep this off the show but everybody knew the cast and a lot of the crew all knew and it was a hot piece of gossip for a while but the producers kept it off the show because they knew that Janelle would go crazy. You guys, do you think that this is a good enough reason to keep the storyline off of the show? Because I kind of feel like there's something a little bit deeper in there that they're not exactly mentioning. Because to me, I feel like all of these producers are employed based on how interested people are in the show. And right now, interest in Teen Mom 2 is kind of starting to decline because our people, our go-to people for the drama, Janelle and Leah, are now seemingly living normal lives and not really as dramatic as they once were. We literally cannot have a show with storylines like Brianna's and Chelsea's, you guys. And so do I believe that producers would just throw away a massive, massive opportunity to make even more money simply because Janelle would get mad? No. Not really, but they actually did continue on to share a little bit more information about what's been going on behind the scenes that we're not seeing on this season of Teen Mom 2. In fact, according to the source, the investigation on Janelle, the alleged investigation, I should say, didn't actually wrap up until just this past May, but um, during that time, she got multiple, or should I say numerous, of visits from CPS, and I assume at least a couple of these happened while the camera crews were in the home, so can you imagine how awkward that would have been for her? But um, and another quote from the uh, blog, they said, Janelle basically flew to Los Angeles to obtain a medical marijuana card. She went to the shady doctor on Sussex Boulevard who has been in trouble in the past. I think he's actually a plastic surgeon. It was a walk-in clinic type place. Janelle has a lot of friends in LA that can help her with this sort of thing. And it seems like the fact that Janelle already kind of travels to LA pretty often for quote unquote work, um, the judge managed to buy her excuse on why she went all the way there to get a medical marijuana card. Um, no words really on this. Like I'm not blaming the judge or anything because they do just have to follow the letter of the law and what they have based on evidence and stuff. Like they're not sitting around watching Teen Mom like the rest of us. But it is really sad to think that Janelle managed to weasel her way out of this um, custody issue so relatively easily. Another interesting tidbit that came out of the article was that the what I'm assuming is a production source that speaks to the Ashley said that a lot of the other girls on the show were pretty upset about the fact that Janelle managed to keep this off of the season and that they really hoped this would be the final nail in her coffin so that she could stop trying to pretend to this bit to be this so that she could stop trying to pretend to be this big happy family. But let me just take inventory of the girls that are on the show, right? There's five. There's Janelle, um, Brianna, Kaylin, 
Chelsea, and Leah. So which of those five people could really have any room to talk about being pissed off at the editing that Janelle's getting? Because if we really think about it, um, of the four other girls, first of all, Brianna is still new and all she does is talk about the same thing every day. And she should be thanking her lucky stars that MTV has not like been shady enough to post her tweets begging the world that she wanted to get pregnant. She didn't care who it was by, that she just wanted to do it. Um, and then we've got Chelsea who really has no room to complain about anything because she doesn't film any real aspect of her life. She had Adam to be a scapegoat and now that Adam's gone, she's whining on Twitter having meltdowns about like, you know, basic ass edits that don't really paint her or her family in a bad light in the first place. So what room does she have? And then we have Kale, who's always claiming to not want to film about anything. So can she really be mad about Janelle for hiding this? No. And last but not least, we're left with Leah, who was treated with absolute kitty gloves when she was going through her alleged drug addiction um, a few seasons past. Her cheating on both husbands with the same guy, like nothing about the deer cam was released. Like she got an amazing, amazing edit, probably even better than what Janelle got here too. So the fact that any of them are pissed off about this just kind of aggravates me, dude, because none of them really have clean hands in terms of what they do and don't allow to air on um, the show. It's not like any of them are really trying to be as authentic as possible with us anyway. And actually one of the cast members told the Ashley for this article that David and Janelle don't try to hide their drug use among the cast at all. In fact, they think they're kind of like the cool kids on the block for managing to get away with so much and that David was allegedly bragging about getting a prescription so easily and being able to freely smoke weed. Ugh, is all I can say. You guys, how do you feel about the fact that MTV allegedly hid something so, so serious from their viewers in this season of Teen Mom 2? They're supposed to be educating um, young women on what can happen when you get pregnant at a really bad stage in your life, um, the consequences and things like that. So to think that they would hide the fact that one of their stars, who's supposed to be some kind of a role model in some alternate reality, get away with the fact that her child was born with THC in her system and that there was a massive investigation against her for the what second or third time involving CPS is pretty sad if you ask me but I'm more interested in getting your opinion on everything so you know what to do leave all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below and as usual we'll chat you can also like this video subscribe for more feel free to share it with your friends as well and follow me across social media where I absolutely love chatting with you that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.